Brought to you by VFTV. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to the vault. We're back with some more exclusive content. Keepers, sleepers, and weepers goes right now. Snap Jason Klein and Leon in the house today. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, but yeah, let's get into it. Yeah, so, it's going to be very interesting. Keepers, weepers, and sleepers. I can't wait to see what's on everybody's list. All right, let's do it. First up. Um, mm. Hold on, not me. First up, blanket. Yeah, this is uh, from ECAP City. This thing is fucking terrible. I mean, how bad can you get on a hat? I mean, you get the eyelet eater, and it's just nothing but metallic pewter or silver, and then white, and it's all glow in the dark. So you can't even see the side patch. Um, It's just not a good hat. So I had to throw this one on my, my weeper this week. It's not good all around. That's because your name. I never heard of that eyelet eater. Yeah. Yeah, there's no eyelets on the front at all. Oh wow. Do people like this logo? Yeah, I don't. There's there's well, there's a lot of people that do like this elephant. You think so? Yeah. Yeah. Especially this one. It's better than the one where the elephant is trying to juggle. It's tiny. It's tiny. Yeah. I mean, it's a nice looking logo. I just wish it was a little bit smaller, man. Like, it's just way too big. It 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 only comes in this size. I've only seen this one in this mm. size. Yeah, yeah. They've had other types of elephants, but not not. There like have that. been good hats made with this logo, but this is not one of those good hats. Yeah, I mean, agree, it's disagree. Kind of like it's kind of like a Raiders colors, so I like I don't like mind it too bad, but I'm. I'm with you. The side patch is kind of botched. Whenever I see like black, silver, white, Oakland, I think like the Raiders. Yeah. It's kind of cool. you know, the side patch reminds me of an edge sketch. Yeah, 1930s. It's bad work. It's like that it was like drawn before the invention of like pencils. Yeah, but all right, good one. All right, let's see what Jason picked. I do not like this pink. At all. Pink rouge, and you then, don't like pink rouge, n and not with gold, for sure, not with gold. I don't know, I'm just not a fan of this hat. Mm. Nothing, nothing. I don't know. It feels like a Mother's Day gone wrong. Mm -hmm. I can see his hat doing well though for certain people. Sure, it, I mean it, yeah. it sold decently well, but yeah, I ain't, I ain't buying it. Yeah. Yeah, that's rough. All right. Uh lids with the waffle hat or whatever. Um yeah, it's just it's to me, I, I guess people who aren't around for the burger power can come eat these burgers, but it's just like I feel like they're late to the party and I don't feel like they're off trend. So the the lids burger pack, this one's this one specifically is uh bad work, I feel like. Uh, do I don't like. Think, I don't do you think like the Waffle House, Leah? Have you ever been to one? It's the wall, like it's just the, called the Waffle House. I don't mm -hmm. think so. No. no, I've never been there. Big, big in the South. Okay, I've never been too far. I've been to Dallas once. No, that's that's, that's Southwest. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, you're not gonna find many Waffle oh, Houses yeah. in Dallas. Waffle House is the is the shit if you're drunk at the club. And you get out and you go to Waffle House to get some breakfast food. Is the hook good then? Uh, is the hook no, good? the hook is not hook. The hook is not good at all. Okay. That's what I was gonna say. Um, it's not too late to do burger pack or restaurant themed pack hats, but this is not done right. All right. Um, I've been to New Orleans. Does that count as the south? That would be the south. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that'd be the south. But um. I don't, I don't know. Is, is there Waffle Houses in New Orleans? When you think of Waffle House, you think of Atlanta. Like Georgia? Okay. Yeah. 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 I'll say this is not a bad hook. It's a bad hat. 
because this looks just like the W for Waffle House. Yeah, it's a good hook. Not yeah. a good hat, though. Yeah, I feel like like the pack, they just tried to hook the logo. And maybe that's why yeah. the McDonald's looks so weird. Because it was just like a yellow M. There's no red on it whatsoever. Yeah, That's what I said. I was like, why the hell would you make a McDonald's hat without red? It makes zero sense. The only way I can think of it is just, just because they get that the logo is just yellow. That's it. So I, I mean, I, I get they're they trying to avoid the, the ketchup and mustard look, but it doesn't say McDonald's without any red on it. I think I think um, the side patch was referring to the All Star Special on the menu. Okay, so that's not bad, I guess. I don't know, but man. it's too plain. It's too plain for me. It's just like when you get married to the hook too much, like it just feels like like kind of amateurish almost. To me, it would have looked better if it was a black crown with the yellow brim, nope. and then a and then a yellow W. Just would go that all not black have looked better? The, go all black with the yellow W, or 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 all black, either one. All black, yeah. But what if what if they would have used that that Pittsburgh Pirates yellow? It's like a ombre, maybe like a darker, a way darker yellow. I'd have to see the Waffle House logo. On the I think the Waffle sure. House logo is this is pretty true to form. <laughs> Honestly, it's it's like a faded, it's like a faded yellow look. It, yeah. It's not like dark I'm and looking at it. It's just it like a plain faded. W. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Like mm. Who's crying for like a hook like this though? That's the thing. Like just because you can doesn't mean you should. I feel like. That's how I feel about hooks in general. Yeah. Also, like, the yeah. location, too, man. Like, I don't know. That's why I don't like hooks a lot of the times now with just, like, the letters. Because to me, I mm-hmm. see that. I think Washington. Nothing about the South. Yeah. Do a, do a Braves hat. Waffle mm-hmm. House colors. Be inspired by. Don't hook. Yeah. Yeah. Minnesota McDonald's. Do same thing. I don't know. I'd rather lo- the location. Because, like, to me, logos mean something. And now it's like, oh, don't think of the logo. Just think of the colors I use. It's like, well... I can't not see Washington when I see that W. Mm-hmm. But whatever. That's that's my weeper. Good one. All right. Moving forward. Sleeper. Um, I really I thought about this after, but I should have just used my pictures because they were so damn good, honestly. Oh, okay. From Instagram. Okay. But yeah. A little self promotion there. <laughs> right, he'll get it in later, door. This is my my he sleeper, only there. one size of this hat sold out. Um, and really the whole pack is is a weep or a sleeper to me because there's only like two sizes in the whole pack that, that sold out. So or two hats. Two hats of the pack that sold out. So which one? Houston and who else? Uh Dodgers. It's, okay. Oh. The two biggest markets. Interesting. This is uh the John Wallace and Walter McCarty. That's Look, this hat is this hat is, oh. is really good. Like this is based off the '96 NBA draft. Yeah, one yeah. of the best yeah. draft, one of the best drafts of all time. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so John Wallace and, and um, Walter McCarty was picks in '96 for the Knicks. For the Knicks. But you know what's crazy oh. is the sports specialties actually made a pack pretty much exactly like this. They even have the shadow. No, that'd be years ago. Right? Yeah, that would have been a long time ago. Yeah. Well, they made the original hat, I believe. But that, I mean, it's the same same premise. I mean, it's the, the block letters like that with the shadow. That's interesting. Yeah, they made. Well, they probably the made thing. the original hat, to be honest. Yeah. Like, NBA ones. Yeah. NBA yeah. Ones, probably. yeah. Cool. Good one. I like the Pirates one a lot. I'm probably going to end up grabbing it, but. I might wait till they go on sale. They probably will for a few months. Boston bees. Uh, Normally I don't go for like metallic uh, buttons or visors or anything, but just the little, little bit of button gray bottom side baddie. This is a good looking app. Yeah. Kind of, kind of stripped down. Kind of like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Got the old school feel with the new school metallic. That's pretty interesting. I mean, the Boston Bees didn't play in even the same century as the Batterman. 
So I almost would have preferred even a plain Jane uh-huh. even more, but still, it's a good yeah. looking hat. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, sleeper for me, wait till you. Well, all right. So if you're a member, you probably haven't seen us announce the drop yet. But if you're a non member watching this episode, um, you that means you've slept on the ball club. The three hats that we have, um, that Pierre put together. Um, and are allowing the uh, ball club members to, to pick from. I don't know how you're going to choose, but you're going to have to choose, and you're in for a choice. So I think anyone who's uh, watching this video now, you've slept on us, unfortunately, and uh, you're not a part of the ball club, but it is what it is. So um, ball club members eat first, and they're going to get their choice uh, from three great hats. But you can still join. You can still join, but I don't know if they're going to let them – if Pierre's gonna let him pick, yeah, we'll but see. There, there's other hats coming down the pike anyway. So, mm. ball club, um, give us your money, and then we'll make you spend more of it <laughs> by giving you early access to stuff. But uh, yeah, shout out to the members. Oh, there's my picture. All right, so this one is uh, my boy Brooklyn Bory. He came out with a two pack for the Johan Santana, the uh, no hitter. This one I was able to get my hands on. The other one I was not, unfortunately. Uh, but this was the hook to the hat that he was wearing. And they also had the, uh, I'm pretty sure, the 50th patch on their uh, sleeve whenever he was, whenever he threw the no-hitter. So this is a very good, just clean Mets hat. You can't go wrong. Uh, the The side patch is super metallic. I think he did his thing, and then the back of it says "Amazing Mets," which I've never seen before. On the that's back the of best the Mets, all that. huh? The, that's the best part of the hat. Yeah, it says "Amazing uh, Mets" on the back, which is really dope. So, um, I have it here somewhere. Uh, actually, hold on. Nice. Seriously, do we have to see this shit live? <laughs> yeah. I'm sure yeah. The it's the same hat. Fuck the Mets. Let me see the back. Let me see the back. Let me see the oh, back. yeah, yeah. Amazing um, Mets. But the amazing. amazing Mets was the 86 Mets, wasn't they? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it was. They're, 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 they're amazing one year out of their whole fucking existence. <laughs> I, I mean, this is just a clean ass. Like, you just can't go wrong with a clean Mets hat. Get you your starter get jacket. It'll match it. I, I mean, get one amazing I, August and yeah. September for them. So, so growing up in New York in the late 90s, I remember people used to give away Mets tickets, right? They weren't good in the in the late nineties, right? Am I tripping? You're, you're not tripping. They were good in the mid eighties for like one okay. year, and that was it. And then they became, and so now they're good, like right? No, like recently, no. They no. tried to buy a championship, and it backfired uh, really badly. It guys. did. The thing about like the nineties baseball is like they had less playoff spots, so your season could be done by July. Mm. So that's why you remember people giving shit away in August and September because people knew the season was done. Got you. Okay. Yeah. There, there wasn't a lot of playoff spots. Like it was really hard to make the playoffs back in the day. Yeah. There was four, four playoff spots. Yeah. So that's insane. <laughs> yeah. I grew up during the six with wild card era, and that was mm. even hard. I can't even imagine four. Like your, your season might be done in June, mm. depending on how you're playing. They are hot right now, though. I'll say that they are. It's I fucking did. April. It's April. <laughs> yeah. Every let's single time. Cal- Look, let's calm down a minute. All right, it's April. They are hot right now. Every it, team that they they've won five series, in, well, four series in a row. It's amazing that they're above five hundred. Let's put it that way. With the start that they had. So yeah, they started game. off zero and four. They lost their first the series. The ball's not even jumping off the bat yet. <laughs> let's just let's just settle down. <laughs> I'm just right? saying they're the hottest team in baseball right now. I don't know about the hot. Okay, let well, talk to me in May. All right, let's see what they're looking like in May. Well, Name um, another team right now that has won four series I, dude, in a row. It's a it's April. I don't watch baseball yet. It's pointless. There's I'm a, talking about Leon. He said that they're there's not a hundred fifty. There's hundred fifty games left in the season. I, I I don't watch baseball till July. The Blue Jays until the NBA playoffs are over. In a row. <laughs> I'm just saying. Right now they are they're firing on all cylinders. Well, Mets will do Mets stuff in August of September. Right. Like death right. taxes and the Mets choking. Like, that's what I know. <laughs> Sorry, man. Like, 
You guys had DeGrom and Scherzer and all these fucking players. You couldn't get it done, man. Come on, man. Just wasn't the right know. time. It's never the right time. It's never the right time. Then Scherzer goes to Texas and gets a fucking ring, but... Can't buy a championship, man. But he didn't fucking even... Like, he didn't even play for Texas. I mean, come on. He got a free ring out of that shit. Well, okay, um, I'm looking at it right now. They're 10 and 8. Right, yeah. but look at their they look at their like start versus they started off zero and four, Jason. Oh my god. They're gosh. ten and four in their last fucking games. headlines in April. The Mets are above five hundred. Oh Jesus. Oh, we've seen this oh. start before. No, oh, yeah. I'm just saying you didn't see it last year. What? They didn't the Mets. They they were not good last year. Well, At really any eight, point, ten and eight is hardly good. Like, but that's because uh, they started off zero and four, though. It's hard to come back from a zero and four to no, be no, ten and no, eight in one hundred and sixty-two games. You'll be fine. <laughs> zero and four. The Mets. The Mets will always be the little brother, that like the Clippers are to the Lakers. How did you decide to be a Mets fan? Let's unravel this. I just really you just like a like a you got a like a. Like a pension for pain or something? He no. was the last pick in his entire class. And so every other every other team had been picked. So he got stuck right. with the Mets. New York is not near Northwest Arkansas, right? I'm assuming. It's not. And I actually kind of grew up going to Texas Rangers games because they were so close. But yeah. And I I don't know. I, I don't know. Somewhere down the line, I just started really liking. Like, I really love the Mets colors. I love the blue and the orange. Like, I love the contrast of it. So I think that's probably what drew me to it originally. But I don't know. I started you liking like, them. You like the colors one day as a kid, and then now you're just too stubborn to move off of it. I mean, that's kind of how it is. I mean, unless you grow up in a city that has a fucking team, you just kind of like look at you look, can, you can change baseball. your team. You have no allegiance to yeah. the Mets whatsoever. You owe them nothing. You can change your team. I'm not doing that though. That's weird. The, to me, it's like like I, I don't like who's like your best favorite player growing up. David Wright. He was one of them. Okay. He's he a David Wright, I guess. I don't know. The Mets weren't Wright. even like fun to watch, man. Like David Wright's not even a Mets fan. Like <laughs> you change. They get players and they just ruin them. Pedro, who am I changing to? Though? That's the problem. Like I said, go. go, go Go with the Rangers. They're literally in your backyard. I like the Rangers. Look, I like I don't have I don't hate the Rangers. I like the Rangers. I've been to several games throughout my life because they're so close. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. It's just like one of those things that felt forced on me whenever I was younger because my my parents uh, like the Rangers. Go with the Royals then. Fuck the Royals, they're ass. They have a better record than the Mets. They're Barely. And the, and, and, and the Mets just seven. beat that ass too. They're thirteen and seven. That's but the Mets just beat that ass. And they won their series. I think you're allowed to change teams oh, once the is over, over on a team. But that's the thing is like if I because I grew up an Oklahoma fan. If I grew up and I was like, oh, I live in Arkansas now. I got to be an Arkansas fan. Fuck no. Or if you grew up Fuck in Oklahoma, no. Oklahoma, no, Oklahoma college then you should different. be a Dodgers fan. College, college is different. You should be a Dodgers fan then because they're the affiliate of the Oklahoma City. But I I didn't grow up an Oklahoma City Dodgers fan. I'm a Naturals fan. You know that. And they're a Kansas City Royal affiliate. But right. I fuck the go. Royals. The Royals then, man. Fuck the Royals. Fuck you're the like, you're crazy. Even though it's weird because I did you're, wear a Royals only, hat on the show tonight. Like, but you're only like three hours away from Kansas. Yeah, City Bobby Witt Jr. Man, yeah. that guy is. And they have they have one of the most the beautiful world. stadiums in the league in the in the country. Be a Royals. You're a Royals fan. Because, hey, Pompous, yeah. you're a Royals fan. Yeah, you're a Royals fan now. Be there. Uh, June 29th, I will be there for an event, actually. Kansas City. There you go. Sounds like a really there. Bad, bad Two Royals time. fans. Um, hey. Way to no. go. Way to go, Blinken. I can go never Royals. be a Royals fan. Yeah, I will celebrate with all the fellow Royals fans with you. But June it was 29th. really cool, though, because I got to well, see, like, Mike Moustakis and Eric Hosmer. Yeah. They both played for the Naturals, and then they yeah. went on and, and won a World Series. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that well, was really cool wait. to see, but I'm not a Royals fan. I can't be a I Royals mean, how fan. The Royals have more World Series championships than the Mets do. Like mm -hmm. By what, one? It doesn't matter. There's more. 
<laughs> yeah, Low King, Luke Hochevar, Alex Gordon. What a team, man. What a team. Yeah, we're going to revoke your Mets card. Yeah, uh, you're, you're a Royals fan now. Royals fan. Well, same blue anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're different. Um, okay. Uh, then this They're is my second different. keeper. It's the Minnesota Timberwolves. Uh, I'm not an NBA like hat guy. I, I don't look like the NBA logo on the back really. I'm a little bit weird, but this hat was beautiful. Really good hat. And uh, just a little heads up for people that aren't in the vault club, or if you, even if you are in the vault club, you're going to be seeing very soon some insane NBA hats yep. that that top this by like a thousand. So, uh, but no, this is an incredible hat. So I had to put it on my my keepers this week. Good one, the big ticket. All right, you just like orange. <laughs> you're a huge orange fan. Oh, well, I know what you're getting at now. No. <laughs> I do like orange, but I mean, if you like orange and you like NBA, you probably like them hats. I know what you're going. At. I I got the reference there, mm -hmm. Jason. Cool. Uh, yeah, this Brooklyn uh, Dodgers hat from uh, Hat Club. Uh, I don't remember the collaborator on this. Was this? Um, was this uh, Mo this Mo 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 yeah. Fitted? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she did a great job on this one. I like the white out logo on the front. Mm. And actually, the, the the team matches for once. This patch gets passed yep. around like a poker chip. Yep. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. Pick. Good job. Nice hat. Great pick. Great pick. All right. And my second keeper is this uh, Iron Pigs from our our colleague Leon in Pro Image Colorado. You mm -hmm. should be arriving at my house yesterday, since you're seeing this on Sunday. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to grab it. Yeah, that, that Liberty Bell is nice. On yeah, this is a good one for their Sunday uniform. Oh, it arrives Sunday. They play. They play in this uniform on Sundays too, right? No, it arrives on Saturday. Oh, Saturday. Okay, so you can wear it when they wear the uniform. Yep. Um, what fire is uh the collaborator here? He uh teamed up with Hat Club to um do this oh. hat, his first hat. Um, congratulations to him. Um. The autism awareness patch you won't see it uh here but um in the patch it's uh like a lot of those colors um like the blues the reds and the yellows so i think he did a great job i'm not sure exactly when uh the hat comes out but i wanted to give him a shout out so uh great guy in the community shout out to very Robert. nice guy very nice guy beautiful family congratulations yeah he's he's great yeah so shout out to him and the kids Great, great work. Kid, so. Kids got some fire shoes on too. Yeah, <laughs> the breads, bread floors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good job by him. All right, and last but not least, uh, Topper Store USA dropped these uh, minor league hats. So the Portland Beavers um, is really good, but for me, the highlight of all of them is the Gastonia Rangers. Um, they eventually, they're they're a defunct team now, so they don't exist anymore. But yeah, it's got the uh, Southern Atlantic League patch on the side. It just looks like a Rangers logo, except it says Gastonia. And then the cowboy hat is not as plain as the regular uh, Rangers. It has like the G in it. I don't know. I just thought it was a smooth, smooth hat. He used like the um, seashell in it to look at, make it look more aged. Uh, just a great um, pair of hats here. Elevated minor league. I like it. Very cool. Nice. nice. And that brings us to the end. We did. Cool set of hats to look at. I blew everybody up tonight with the Mets. You mean Royals? You mean Royals? Royals? You're a Royals fan. Yep. Hey, go, go swimming in that fountain, buddy. Mm -hmm. Bobby Hoyt Jr. is electric. Mm -hmm. Better than any player the Mets have. He's better than Lindor, that's for sure. Lindor started off the season really slow. Yeah. Is he still really is he slow. over 100 yet? Yes. <laughs> you guys are going to lose Polar Bear Pete, too. The most overrated player in baseball. <laughs> I 
don't know why you would stand for the Mets. That's so weird. Yeah, yeah. Fucking Mets of all teams. Yeah, he's, like, he's betting. A, I could see you as like a Braves fan. Yeah, that's maybe. what I thought he was. Maybe. He's betting 151. He's not having a hot start to the season. I mean, he he's finally over the legal limit for uh, alcohol. That's point zero eight. <laughs> yeah, no, but he was batting that for a while. <laughs> this is this is shocking news. I did not know Blanket was a Mets fan. It's disappointing, isn't it? I didn't see I didn't see that coming. I I, yeah. I really thought he was like uh, probably a Braves fan or something. Like I was that. at Braves or Texas, probably or something like that. Braves? No, I'm oh. I'm saying I'm saying Royals now. Well, now 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 that we know yeah. him and we've known yeah, his history, Northwest Arkansas definitely. graduates into the Royals. So the, 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 the yeah, fan. he's definitely a Royals fan now. Mm-mm. I can't do it. I do wish those guys that go from the na- uh, Naturals to the Royals all the best of luck, but I can't. Um, and I'll pull for them individually, but I don't. the Royals have always the, the Royals have been worse than the Mets my entire life, even though they won a championship in what 2016. <laughs> yes, they've been worse uh, than uh, they've done more though with less though. They've done more yeah. with less, and they have a chance to win that division every year. The Mets don't have a chance to win the fucking East. Never. Well, they, don't have to win the East. Atlanta, they don't have Atlanta to win. They don't have to win the East. Years, man. They don't have to win the East. Well, this year they're gonna have to. <laughs> mm. So we have a Braves fan, a Mets fan, a Blue Jays fan, a Boston Red Sox fan. And a Yankee fan in Mexico, right? Correct. And who are you a fan of? He I, can't, I, I, can't, I can't. I can't name a team because I don't know. I can't name you one player. You just named six teams. Well, I can name you the teams, but I can't name you the players. And you're Venezuelan. You could even cheer for like the Venezuelan team, man. They got. Good I don't players. even know not one Venezuelan person. Oh my god, that's a shame. They got really good players. I mean, Ronald Acuna. Plays with the Braves, won the MVP last year. The only Man reason I know, uh, the only reason I know Acuna is because he had a hat come out with some chains on it that everybody <laughs> wanted. And that you was get a one. forty, get a forty seventy well, year. No one's ever done that. One of the one of the best hats of all time. <laughs> no one's even done forty sixty, right? Forty fifty? Has anyone ever? Forty done? forty was a huge deal back when yeah. Seiko and Bonds are doing. Yeah, that. he did forty seventy. No, forty home runs, seventy stolen bases. Yeah, no, JG goes forty forty club. He did forty seventy. Seventy is a ridiculous amount of stolen bases in today's <laughs> game. And he hit forty bombs. I mean, some teams don't even steal seventy bases all year long. Yeah, like what's Ricky Henderson's like? He had, he had like 130. No, I know, I know. But like he stole the bases, but he didn't couldn't hit the home runs. His, his, yeah, he his did. Max, he has he's got the yeah. major league record for the most, most lead off home runs in history. All right, that's fair. That's fair. But like someone uh, like Ozzy Smith. I think he had a 40 40 season, if I remember yeah, right. 40 40 Ricky? All right, I know he's gonna be Ricky. Maybe not. My only point was is like the fast guys usually don't hit home runs like that. I'm yeah. like, Scott Pet said Nick or something, you know. All I'm gonna say oh. is I don't I don't like all the shit that I'm getting from Jason about being a Mets fan because 28. Okay. I mean, let's be real. The Braves, other than what 2019 when they won 2020, they have not been they've they didn't they win every damn year though. They're they're, they're in con- they're in contention. Are every competitors. Year. They're competitors they every year. Every they have year. some yeah. of the best players in the league, and then they choke. Yeah, at least they don't choke during the regular season. Like, <laughs> how many times have the Mets led the National League East on like on the All Star break and then not make the playoffs? The thing about baseball would, is, is, listen, the listen, best listen. Team hardly ever wins World Series. Before you do that. I would personally rather see my team choke in the regular season than get all the way to the playoffs and be no, like, no. "Fuck, they're yeah, they're gonna yeah. they're gonna fucking win this shit," and then they get their ass whipped. If you like baseball, you would rather have your season end in August than October. That makes no sense. Yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah. He's just trying to justify being a Mets fan. No. Yeah. 
Uh, so Ricky had uh, two years and 28 home yeah, runs. 28. All right, I take 24. That. He hit, he so, hit, yeah. yeah, he could hit home runs. I mean, like Scott Pitts said. He's got 297 man. career home runs. He also played like 40 damn years. <laughs> so, yeah, like, 25. That's, that's Still. crazy for, for a guy with legs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Take a like Carl Crawford or Kenny Lofton and stuff like that. But one, two, three. Ricky hit some jacks. I take it back. Yeah. He has the most like, leadoff ever, still, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, Cunha may pass him at some point. I know George was kind of on pace, but he's slowing down. Spreading. I think Stat's about to fall asleep. Yeah, he doesn't like the baseball talk. Oh, it's okay. I, um, I need to learn. <laughs> Barrow Venezuela, man. They got some good players, man. You do need to learn because we're going to a Mets game on yeah. June 15th. Oh, probably the 14th, honestly. I've, I've, been to, I've been to baseball games before without knowing who who, who was, and they had a great time. It's it's way different when you go to the game than trying to watch it on television. Yeah, that's fair. One of my dreams is to go to uh, Venezuela for winter ball. And watch them. It's like you go to, like, try to imagine, imagine trying to watch a high school basketball game on TV Hmm. versus going to the game. You go to the game, it's action packed. You watch it on TV, you're like, what the fuck is this? I mean, I want to compare Major League Baseball to high school athletics, but uh, okay, if you want to. I'm not watching a high school game, but I don't know who's playing. Put it that way. No, but let, let's just say I invited you to come to my high school with me to mm-hmm. watch a game. Okay. The the ambiance is you're going to be entertained. You know, then you watch it on TV. Maybe. I'd rather watch Major League Baseball on TV than to go watch a high school game in person. <laughs> but it, be, but it depends on who's playing, I guess. It depends on who's playing. <laughs> I don't know. I can't imagine myself being almost 31. Yeah. Being like, fuck, I need to go watch game. a high school basketball game yeah. this time. He's not a real creepy. No, well, man. That, that was <laughs> well, if you're going to a high school game, that means because you have family members that play on the team. Well, that's or, different. That's what I'm saying. Like, you know, I'm not a high school game unless I know you're something. You're an alumni yeah. to the school. You know, Even if I was – al- I've not been uh, – look, I've been graduated for 12 years now. I would but, never uh, ever step foot in uh, unless right. my little sister's playing. I would never step foot in I'm, another I'm, gym I'm, or on I'm, the football I'm, field. I'm correct you right now. You are near Texas, right? What's Pretty the close. number one? What's the number one sport in Texas? Football, right? Lacrosse. Lacrosse. Okay, Just yeah. Probably. No, no, no. no, but what I mean, funny football, right? What is the number one? What What do they love more? Friday Night Lights, high school football. <laughs> Or or, or 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 something else. Or ninety thousand people in the Cowboy Stadium. I wonder. No, but I'm saying people t- like high school sports <laughs> is big in yeah. certain. It areas. is, but that doesn't make it any less like. But you it could be a 40 year, you could be a forty year old and go to a high school football game because that's a big part of the town is the football. Yeah, but I grew up in a, sure. in a town where football was fucking terrible. So I would never like if I lived in Texas though, maybe if I was able to like go watch kids that were like about to go D one and play for you know it's only acceptable if you actually went to that high school. And, yes, and yes, even yes. then and even then it's weird. But there are people that have no kids at the game and still go to the game to go see their their old high school play, correct? Sure. Yeah. And those are weird people. <laughs> it's just. I mean, it's it's it's, it's, fri- like it's, fri- it's Friday night. You got nothing better to do than go watch some <laughs> random kids play a sport. You know nothing and go about. Yell at them and tell hey, them we've got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, man. So, hey, you can't really shit. say that about Friday nights, and then we sit here on a technically four-hour show. <laughs> no, that's different, though. We're that's talking hats. Like, like yeah. yeah, like I'm talking about kids' hats. But to go to a random <laughs> high school sporting event. Like six times a year, because you happen to live in that school district. That's just that's odd shit. Yeah, odd shit. Unless I'm going to like 
Like if, if there was like the town next to me or something, let's just say the town next to me. If there was some kid that's like a five star talent, I'd be like, shit, I might want to go watch him real quick. Okay, sure. sure. There are Other some that, exceptions though. to the rule. Other than that, I'm not stepping foot on like a high school football campus at no. all. Take, okay, look at look at uh, the Caitlin Clark girl right now. Okay, how many men are are going to go to the Indiana Fever games to go see her play? And how okay. many men went to go see her play at the Iowa University? Sure, so what's right. Your point? A lot of them alumni. Huh? What's your alumni. point? Students and whatever. So yeah, they're uh, weird because they're fucking perverts. Is that was that what you're trying nah. to get at or what? <laughs> Speaking of that, did you guys hear that interviewer and no, what he God. said to Caitlin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That she's was from weird. she's from um Jason's like city. So I'm sure anything she blocked she before. blocked Antonio Brown for saying something pervert. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My 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 daughter went to grade school with her little brother. Yeah. Like Des Moines. Class. She went. She's mm -hmm. from Des Moines. Mm -hmm. Des Moines. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, this. Yeah. Like, West, you have West Des Moines. We kind of rolled in the same mm -hmm. circles. That's crazy. I wouldn't yeah. say that. No, but I mean, like, same neighborhood, like same. Yeah, uh, we probably shop at the same Target. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's interesting. Mm. <laughs> But she, she definitely put Iowa on night night. More, you probably saw more it. Of a, a talking point. No, no. We shopped yeah. at the same Target. Me, yeah. me and her mom. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> probably got gas at the same pump. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Twice. I don't know. There's a lot of gas stations. I mean, people wasn't talking about like Iowa she's no sports she's like, a generational talent yeah. she's changing the way the game is played yeah that's awesome yeah yeah and don't she's be, making less dope. now in the league than she did whenever she was at Iowa <laughs> well, she well, three, yeah, three, she's, three, got a, she's got a she, she's got an eight figure Nike deal I'm so, talking about I mean, without the Nike deal I'm talking about like her salary is less in the league than what she was making in Iowa so off of NIL. Fault, but the league is, the, is, is yeah, no. a deficit. Yeah. She will her she fault. will end up making close to a half a million dollar in salary this year. It was just the base salary that sucks. Like her yeah. game checks is like seventy eight thousand. But there's there's bonuses, there's uh profit sharing, there's revenue sharing. The the commissioner of the league even said she should be close to five hundred thousand. The jersey oh, salary. salary yeah her basketball Earnings this for year. the best female basketball player in the nation. That's crazy. Listen, listen the though. WNBA made $65 million last year. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's 144 a, players. Yeah. Like, like that. I mean, the put it, put it the other way. The NBA made $28 million or something. No, no, they made, God, what was the number? It was like $500 million compared to 65 million for WNBA. It's, it's not even close. It's apples yeah. and oranges. Yeah. But this class and the classes coming behind them and some of the classes ahead of them are going to lift up the WNBA. Is it going to get to NBA heights? Absolutely no. not. No. But it's going to it's going to get better for them. They're already talking expansion. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, the Indiana Fever, thirty six of their forty games are going to be nationally televised this year, um, which is which is crazy. They'll like, sell out on the road, probably. They, they, this group of girls will raise the WNBA um, right viewership and and everything. And it's going to be great for all of them. Uh -huh. I'm honestly surprised that they made 65 million. Like that, I, I that feel was, like that's a pretty big number for for the WNBA. Given that, I that might have like been their, that, that might have been their revenue. So yeah. profits are different, but like, yeah, it, I mean, just the numbers are completely different. And I remember when the WNBA was first established in back, I think was it was it in 2000, 2001? No, they've like, been around. This is yeah, a 20 yeah, yeah, year. Yeah. So 96. It was right that, after it was right after the Olympics. Okay, um, yes, that class, that class of women, that was like that was like this year's class of women. 
Lisa Leslie, Rebecca Lobo, all the um, Cynthia Cooper, Cheryl Swoops, Don Staley. That was like what this year is. And if it wasn't for those women that from that dream team of women, the WNBA probably would have never got created because those were some elite women right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's what it takes, though. You need generational yeah. talent to, to get people to play the sport. I remember I saw Rebecca Lobo in person. Uh, now, I, now, I thought I was four foot two. Because <laughs> <laughs> you, you are. Well, she so made you feel like you were four foot two, but you're actually five seven, so she's like probably six yeah. four, six three. No, Rebecca Lowe was tall as shit, bro. That was that was a giant woman. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Well, it's a great show. Thank you so much. Uh Leon, you want to take it away? Yeah, make sure you guys are uh subscribed to the channel, drop a like on the video if you haven't done so already. Link to join the vault clubs on the bottom um in the description. For Jason Snap, Klein, and Liam, we out. Uh, yeah. so, all right. Blank would say, go Royals. Go Royals. Bop LGM. Brought to you by VFTV. No,